The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. Welcome to Dueling Comedians, where two comedians clash to see whose comedy kills and who gets killed. Figuratively speaking, of course. All this to determine who claims the coveted Dueling Comedians trophy. This is Dueling Comedians. Dueling Comedians is a wholly owned subsidiary of Dueling Incorporated. So, don't try any funny business, Carolyn Plummer. I will not. All right. I am sitting here uh, on my seat, and in the seat next to me... Is another is a friend of mine. We've known each other for quite some time. It's got to be at least twenty years. Twenty now? years, anyway, right? At least. And I always think of you as one of the young comedians. Well, I don't age, so no, you don't. You look exactly yeah. the same as <laughs> the first time I have I ever met you. It's uh, Carolyn Plummer, one of the funniest uh, people working around today. And Carolyn, I got to uh, before we get into the meat of the dueling comedians. I have to introduce my sidekick, uh, Laugh Track Larry. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Larry. How are you? Good. Was, He's, was Carolyn at your show, your tribute show? Carolyn was at my tribute show, yes. I, I believe I laughed. <laughs> well, that that is high praise coming from Larry. As, as I recall. Yeah, yeah. He's, I laughed. Yeah, you did laugh. I yes. think we have I think we have a a, a snapshot of that. Some sort of a photo. Some, we oh, captured an image perhaps. of you laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that's high praise from him. He's uh, he's got a very he's very discerning when it comes to what he laughs at. Wow. You know, well, I know funny. Yeah, he does know funny. He that's why we got him here. You know, you know. Between you two, I can tell this this thing is going to be a a rip roar because <laughs> you're not a, a high energy person. Per se yourself, correct, no, Carolyn? Not, not really. No, no I've I've no. seen your act. It's very funny, and it's very you. But there'll be chaos around you, and you're just like steady as can be. Yeah. Yeah. Calm. On the outside. On the outside, sure. No one knows uh, has to know what's going on on the inside. That's the trick, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and where do you where do you hail from? I am originally from Wolfboro, New Hampshire. Right. But you got your comedy start in Maine. I did not actually New Hampshire. In New Hampshire, where? I did a class with Dave McLaughlin. Remember him? Oh, I do remember Dave. He had McLaughlin. laugh right in his name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was his big. Uh, that open, was his big his opening. intro. Ah. And I did a class with him, and yeah. then I did a show at the end of the class at a place called Angelo's, which has since burned to the ground and is a vacant lot. Nice. Was it a very successful fire, as they say? I believe so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I met George Ham. Oh, yeah, he from was, Maine, yeah. Yep. And yep. then I started going to Maine after that because he had me doing his open mic night. Right. Oh, so that's, and then that, I that's how it got started. moving to Maine. Right. So then you moved to Maine and did a lot of your stand-up there. At the Portland Comedy At, Connection. Yeah, the Portland Comedy Connection, which is no longer either, right? No, but a fabulous place to do One comedy. of the best comedy clubs on the planet yeah. in Tony, its day. It seems like a pattern is emerging. <laughs> Wherever she works, it disappears. It burns. That <laughs> it does it disappear. Very astute, Larry. Yeah. I'm sharp. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> can we check with the, the ownership here to see that their insurance is paid up? Because you know we, you don't know. I'm concerned. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Angelos. We, Angelos. It's near that crazy Greek Orthodox church in Manchester. I know it well. You know that yeah, one. It looks yeah. like a spaceship. Look, there's yeah, there's look, there's not a town in New England that I don't <laughs> know, yeah, or have done shows in. Yeah, I can. Remember. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's like it's you, you know what it becomes after a while. It's like the backdrop in a cartoon. Where yeah. it just keeps repeating itself. <laughs> when they're yeah. running. Right, right. When they're running, there's a cactus, there's a house, there's the train. There's a cactus, there's a house, there's a train. You know, it's like that in your head. And and uh, you know, it it's been a good it's been a good run, but you know, and that's part of the beauty of living in New England, don't you find? That you go an hour, you know, if you use Boston as the hub, you know, as the as the center, and you go an hour in any any direction except east, you're in another state. Yeah. You know, and they yeah. all have their own comedy clubs. Yeah, yeah. I, I would agree with that. Like yeah. Western Mass as opposed to, you know, Rhode Island is its own entity altogether. Right. And then. Well, well I'm on record, and I might, I don't know if it was this podcast or another one, 
Rhode Island's one of the few places that should be banned from having comedy. Yeah. They, a- they're the stupidest fucking people I have ever <laughs> met in my entire <laughs> life. And that's a generalization. No, I, I know. I've had great shows yeah. there, but I know exactly yeah. what you're saying. But they, I've met more people in Rhode Island that embrace their ignorancy as a badge of honor. And they use geography as, you know, as the as their excuse. Well, I'm from Rhode Island. Well, that's, that doesn't tell me anything. I mean, there, there are two words that prove what you're saying. Buddy Cianci. Buddy Cianci. <laughs> Yeah, a- absolutely 100% correct, uh, Larry. Buddy CNC, I just talked about this the other day. He got elected mayor while he was in prison. <laughs> oh, Rhode he, Island. Yeah, he was in prison. <laughs> you need to do better. And, and he, he got on the ballot, <laughs> and he was elected. He's the smartest man in Rhode he, Island. Then. He's a great guy, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I've had he's his He's like, well, I'm getting out him. soon. I can, yeah, still, I can serve. still do it. And he did great things for the city. I, I think the prison thing was a misunderstanding. <laughs> you think that's what happened? He, yeah. He, he kidnapped someone and burned them with a cigarette. Yes. I believe his, he had his, uh, his wife's boyfriend's genitals uh, right. burnt with cigarettes. Pun- That's allegedly. 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 Yeah. Seems we don't like get a harsh punishment for such a minor <laughs> transgression. <laughs> well, none of you am, I guess. And you have the state police and the half the Providence police force <laughs> at your whim. <laughs> All right. So so I, I guess I would, uh, you know, jump into this and, in, in, uh, you know, in, in light of uh, what we're, we're going through the world with the Me Too thing and women... This and women that. How's your How's your trip been in this? I had one Me Too moment uh, years and years and years ago. Yeah. With the um, R-rated hypnotist. Oh, jeez. With a receding hairline and a ponytail, which first of okay, all. Okay, I know exactly who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I'm don't not going to name it. any yeah, names. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he invited me and another female comic over for some sex. For some sex? Yeah. And I actually. <laughs> Was laughing so hard at the right. some sex, some se- that's that just- I wasn't even offended like I should have been. Right, right, right. Because like- I was just asking questions sarcastically. <laughs> what does some sex mean, and what would that involve? What would involve? And, right. Did you want both of us to go over? <laughs> you know, and and that's probably the wrong approach. It, that seems like you might be encouraging him a little right. bit. Right, right. Um, it could be it could, could be construed that way. Right, but I yeah. think that was just me diffusing the situation. Situation, right, right. Um, but I've never been one that anybody has offered to do anything in front of or anything like so, that. Right, like, right. My experience so, strictly hasn't been. speaking, he was an X-rated hypnotist. <laughs> I guess <laughs> could be, could be. It was the late show. The, <laughs> the late. Well, we let late it all show. hang out. Yeah, you got to watch those hypnotists because you know he could have hypnotized you and you wouldn't have known you were saying exactly. yes or no. It'd be like a like a mind roofie. <laughs> You wouldn't even know what was happening. Um, but my my stand on the whole thing is um, if someone feels like they've been wronged and someone did something wrong to them, that's not okay. Right. But I do feel like a lot of people are getting on board when, like the whole thing with Biden now. Yeah. He, he touched my hair. Right. Well, I don't think that's as bad right. as, right. you know, someone. <laughs> sure. Taking your virginity <laughs> against your will. Against, yeah, that's, exactly. Yeah, like, that's... I think the degree has become a little. Yeah, there's gonna be, there. there's gonna be uh, something between rape and I didn't mean it. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean. And I know that's probably not a popular stance because right. I'm a woman, but right. I just feel that that well, you feel that yeah, you get you in any situation. You are entitled to feel every, any way yeah. you uh, there's you want. There's degrees of everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. But in general, and I know for myself, you know, being in uh, in uh, you know. Uh, it, the position I'm in as a, one of the older guys around, I feel very protective of younger comedians in general and and women especially because I know how hard it, it can be. But I, then I think like that's even a sexist stance that like right. you can't take care of yourself. Right, and well, like, I, we've had conversations yeah. where I was like, well, I probably shouldn't say that because that could be misconstrued, Mis- and right. we laugh about right. it. Right, well, comedians are a whole different <laughs> animal i mean we had look if anybody took one of our conversations out of context we would we'd all go to jail would would go to jail and we would 
go to hell for sure. Oh, absolutely. If, if, if that exists. And, and you would never be president. <laughs> never, <laughs> never. Never. No, I couldn't stand the vetting process for oh. 30 seconds. Like someone would come up to me and go, did you actually say that? And I go, yep, I, I did, did. I did. But you're not really understanding how it was meant. You're, you're taking it uh, a whole content, different way. Yeah. 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 Oh. Wow, that flew by, man. That totally flew by. Yeah, that was great. Uh, that music means we're going, we have a break. We got a little sponsorship, and then uh, we'll come back and the duel starts. I hope you're ready. I'm ready. Because I'm not. I, t- I did homework. All right. Very good. Hey, Alexa, subscribe to. The Dueling Comedians Podcast, will ya? That's a good girl. This is David Garofalo, and you've heard me say it over and over again for many years. Please support your local cigar retailer. And I mean it. If you don't buy from them, they will go away, and then what? There'll be no place to go. That being said, sometimes you're far away from any cigar shops or a place that doesn't carry the stuff you've been hearing about and you want to try it. That's where twoguyscigars.com comes in. It's the number twoguyscigars.com. And unlike most online cigar shops, at twoguyscigars.com, you can buy a single cigar of whatever you want. You don't have to buy boxes or even five packs and suffer through cigars you might not even like. One of this and one of that is acceptable, appreciated, and commonplace at twoguyscigars.com. That's the number, twoguyscigars.com. Thank you for your business. If you are still tuned here to uh, Dueling Comedians, uh, I do two things for you. Thank you. And feel really bad at the same time. <laughs> no, we really appreciate your listenership. Uh, I am here with my uh, good pal, uh, Carolyn Plummer. We've been doing stand-up together for about 20 years uh, around here. You've done many uh, other things. How do people get a hold of you? Uh, my website's probably the best spot. That's good. That's good. www. Yeah, you don't want you them don't come to come to your say house. That anymore. Right. No. Carolynplumber.com. And that's uh P L U M M E R. Not like, like the not like page. the other not like the crack in the ass. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. not Caroline. Not Caroline Plummer. No. Right. Even though some people like to call you Caroline. Yes, they do. Yeah, you know my wife's name is Kristen and she gets Christine all the time. Or Christian. Or Chris, Christian or Chrissy, which which really Ugh. crawls up her butt. I don't blame yeah. her. I, I feel yeah. you. I feel you got a name her. for a reason. Yep. Yeah. And we nope. should call you that. So they can go to your, your website and find you. Yeah, I'm on social media. Yeah. Facebook and Facebook, the, Twitter, Twitter, Instagram. Inst- yeah. The inst- I haven't caught on to the Instagram I so like much. I like the Instagram. Late. Yeah. Because that I'm goes Because you let. Because you can post to Twitter and Facebook in one post. You put it on Instagram and it goes to both? You can put it on both. Yeah. Oh. Saves you a ton oh, of time. Oh, I like that a lot. We can set you up when we're done. Yeah. All right. Oh, boy, this is <laughs> great. That I love when I learn shit that I, I didn't know. I just got a new know. phone, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get? You got the... I got the new version of my Motorola. So I have the Motorola. You got a Motorola. Yeah. You're not, not an iPhone Not person. an iPhone person. Really? What, they, what swayed you? They upgrade things. The system upgrades. Without, yeah. You don't have to buy a new phone. I see. So they'll just give you new software yeah. to make it you have can do the, the best. Up, which I like. Right. Uh, except my Waze lady won't talk now. I have to figure out why. You, your Waze lady she doesn't stopped talking. talk? I she talked she's... on the way up, but she won't talk now. Maybe she, she wants you to be on an iPhone. I guess. Maybe she's oh. a little bit bummed she's on a Motorola. I think I turned something off yeah. with my Bluetooth. But it worked. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. I have Bluetooth in my car. Yeah. I, I just got a new car, and I synced up my phone to it like that. I just did that with my new which phone was, today. Which was, I mean, before it was like... You know, you had to read hieroglyphics and well, and all of this. Just getting your stuff back in the phone. phone. Motor- Motorola has this feature. Yeah. You take your old phone, you put it up to your new phone, it goes bloop. No. Yep. And it puts all your apps back on. Then well, you have to put your passwords in and everything. Well, it puts oh everything God. back on. Is that the actual noise? Bloop. Yep. Bloop. Yeah. Bloop. That's it. That's pretty good. You should get a job doing that noise for the I'll phone I'll just go company. to the car dealership and make the noises <laughs> noise of people's <laughs> cars. Bloop. They make you do it over right. and over. Right. <laughs> what are you driving? I what have a got? new fit. You got a new fit. Yeah. You went with the fit again. Yep. 
Yeah. This one's a lot more plastic than my old one. Really? But that's the new one. They, they newer. found more ways to put plastic in a, in a, yeah. In a car. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's the new fit. Yeah, I like that. Another one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Did you you heard that yet? I, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's time for the duel. You know how this works, right? Yes. All right. Do I have to go first? I'm going to push the button, and then you, you can do a joke. Okay. And then you push the button when you're done. So I just joined a new gym in Massachusetts, uh -huh. and it has a stupid name, because the name of my new gym, Jimmit. G-Y-M-I-T. <laughs> Jim it. Jim it. That's a stupid name for a gym. I was finally okay with the name of the gym until they started renaming all the classes. And they were like, tread it, box it, kick it, lift it. And you know what? Most of the time I can't find a parking spot there. Right. And I just say, fuck it. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going with the car theme now since we started it, right? Yep. And I just recently, uh, the reason I got a new car was I had a tree fall on my car no, no. like a gust of wind came and 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 fell on my car and i was standing by it and the guy behind me just yelled run <laughs> and i don't know if you've ever been in a situation where someone yells run with that intensity you fuck you run and i didn't know where i was running to and i'm not a runner you know what I mean? I'm, I do. I'm, I'm such not a runner. I saw uh, like a five-year-old girl running down the street gleefully. She was going nowhere. She was just running. And I just stopped her and I said, what are you doing? You don't run for no reason. You run when trees are going to fall on you. You're stupid. So, as you know, I think my dad is a minister. Your dad is a minister. Is a we minister. know that, yes. And he was embarrassing growing up because yeah. he used to mow the lawn wearing nothing but a pair of work boots, a Speedo, and goggles. Because <laughs> I know if I'm a grown man mowing the lawn in that outfit, first thing I'm going to want to protect, my eyes. <laughs> Should have passed out blindfolds for the neighbors. <laughs> You know, I, I can remember, I didn't have a, uh, my dad was a great guy, right? But we didn't have like a real warm relationship and he wasn't, uh, he wasn't a minister, but he might as well have been, you know right. what I mean? He was a very <laughs> by the book, like he thought I was an anomaly, you know, my, the rest of my family. So I remember he was trying to do the dad, the, the father son talk with me. And I had no idea what he was talking about. He tried to relate it through baseball. You know, thinking like that was something we had in common. And he'd go like, you know, Anthony, when uh, life uh, sometimes will throw you a high fastball right down the middle and you hit it out of the park. Sometimes life will throw you a curve and you got to work a little bit harder at it. And sometimes you just got to take four balls and walk the first. You know what I'm trying to say? I go, I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. Can I have 20 bucks? I'm trying to bone the divorcee down the street. <laughs> so my mom recently had some surgery so i went up to new hampshire i was in new hampshire to help her out and the first thing she said in the recovery room very first thing out of my mother's mouth was they shaved my groin <laughs> which i thought was weird because they went into her arm <laughs> i didn't know what to say i was like don't worry about it mom they did you a favor <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I just recalled this as we were talking about it. Uh, when the tree fell on my car, right, uh, I, I was around the back. And I, I'm not a real God guy, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think there's a, there's a guy sitting in a chair somewhere with a big white beard, <laughs> totally you know, chucking lightning bolts <laughs> at us, you know what I mean? And if it is that, he's kind of an asshole. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what I mean? Because... Here I am, you know, I, I can't imagine he's sitting in his chair going, look, there's famine in the world, there's pestilence, there's, there's upheaval, there's civil unrest. Let's throw a tree at Tony and see how he handles it. <laughs> and like Jesus is behind him going, yeah, 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 throw a tree at the comedian. See how that works out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I like that you made Jesus the instigator in that yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's always the sun. It's always yeah, the sun. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I actually went to a um, gospel brunch when I was on vacation because where would a white girl go on vacation but to a gospel brunch? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, one of the songs that they sang, the lady got up and she said, Jesus does me best. <laughs> yeah, I knew you would laugh. Yeah, I was yeah, also laughing. Of course, they don't. Yeah, I, I don't think that yeah, people were think, thinking what yeah. I was thinking. But the more I thought about it, right. I mean, the man was probably pretty good in the sack. Ah. He walked on water. <laughs> it, he turned water into wine. He probably doesn't even have to be there. <laughs> 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 Uh, in keeping with my, uh, I just thought of this one too. I'm being not a runner. You know what I mean? Do, I do, do run? Tony. Remember we played softball. Yes. You've seen me run. Yes, yes. It's not fast. Yes. I think I'm running fast. Right. But I'm the, not. Yeah, my son is on record as saying, well, Dad, it looks like you're running. Right, exactly. And That's I, how I feel. Right. And I don't know how this happens, but my, my arms go way faster than my legs. They do. <laughs> so if you saw me from the waist up, it looks like I'm running, but my legs are just going. Thing. Like, I don't even, this is how bad I, I am with it. I don't even understand races. You know, like when, like there's a 400 yard race and you got to run around a track. You end up in the exact <laughs> spot that you started in. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just wait there? Take your medal and go home. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That was fast. That was, doesn't the, the, it's like 20 minutes and it goes like crazy fast. Right. Well, we could talk It's because we're having hour. fun. Yeah. I know. I, everyone I've had on the show, yourself included, it just seems like we're shooting the shit and it, yeah. it goes quick. Larry, what'd you think of that one? And remember, the coveted trophy is at stake here. <laughs> I like how you only have one because we know. Because I win all the time. We, we know it's, how this is going It's go. rigged. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's, we got two now. Oh, La La this could be your day. Larry's pointing out. I'm not going to look. I'm on, I'm on Tinder hooks here. I'm glad I brought spare undergarments. <laughs> I might have lost control. Th really? You think you leaked through one pair, did you? Listen, I really loved that groin story. <laughs> it's a true story. It's, it's, yeah, it's up there. You know me, LOL. Uh, he was lol <laughs> In spite of the strong groin showing, <laughs> Tony V retained, oh, I retained the, trophy. the trophy. All right. But, you know. Missed it by a groin. A groin. <laughs> <laughs> Missed it by a hair, yeah. as it were. <laughs> uh, so no one goes away uh, empty handed here. You get some stickers. Nice. Yeah, it says dueling comedian stickers. So you know that they're not anything else other than uh, stickers. <laughs> That's exactly how it works. All right, keep listening here to uh, Dueling Comedians. I want to thank my friend Carolyn Plummer. Thank you. Look for her. Me. She's very funny. You'll enjoy it. Keep tuning in to Studio 21 at the UPN Network or find Dueling Comedians wherever uh, podcasts are sold. All right, we'll see you again. Bye bye. Bye. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.